All right. You know, when December the 1941, it was on a Sunday, I went to church that morning and my brother was with me. And when we came out of St. John's Church and we were coming back, him and I used to play Dirty Tree because it had a cemetery there. So, and we used to skin the people. <laughs> <laughs> Scare the people. Because oh. we had services at 5.30 in the morning, see? And it was kind of dark. And if there was an open grave, we'd jump inside the grave, yeah. the hole, and then we'd say, ooh, <laughs> we like to see them <laughs> run. <laughs> Him and I was deviled. <laughs> and the priest caught us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he said, if I have a picture inside there again, I'm going to tie you up to a stick. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were coming back from St. John. We used to never do Here they worry about you have to have a car to go to church. You have to have a car for the. We walked. Right. You know, you got up uh, uh, early enough to walk to church. And uh, so when I was coming back, I heard, well, we have maneuvering there like they do here. Since you've been here, have you heard any of the shooting and anything? When I've been here before, I hear the bass. Well, now they they stopped it for a little while, but Jedediah has been real bad here, and uh, and it reminds me of Pearl Harbor, you know, when they before they bonded, and uh, so I. So you were walking back home. Yeah, we were walking back home, and uh, uh, I, I heard a machine gun go off. I said, "Bernard, that's real bullets. They're not using uh, blanks." And he said, how do you know? I said, the sound. There's a different sound in it. And he said, I said, come on, let's run and go back home and see what happens. When, we, when I got back home, I put the radio on to see what was happening. You couldn't get nothing on the radio, but the Japanese were talking, talking, talking on the radio. Yeah, the, the Japanese would be, be on the radio. And I, so... Me being a damn tomboy, I climbed the dang mango tree and went to the roof of the house. I wanted to see what was happening, you know, because that was the highest peak. Oh, I could have gone higher be than the the house because the mango trees were higher. And I seen Fort Shafter, and that's when I turned to my mother and said, uh, Hey, Ma, they, they're throwing uh, bombs out there at Fort Shafter. But they're not coming down straight. They're coming in a slant. That's the first time I known of, you know, when they threw the bombs, the bombs came down this way. Right. You know, yeah. And uh, uh, she said, "You didn't I tell you not to go up there? And I said, well, I wanted to see what was happening. I said, but all the way down to Pearl Harbor, uh, there's a lot of black smoke. And come to find out that's when they were setting the oil tanks on fire, and the wind was in our favor, and it covered the whole island. So they couldn't see? They couldn't see anything, yeah. So the next day, I climbed up on a mango tree that was right there in the front yard. In fact, I planted all them trees, and I, cli I climbed up to, and my mother said, I told you not to go there, and a Japanese plane come right over. In fact, he come up, he was so low, Jedediah, I could tell you exactly what he was wearing, and uh, he didn't see me. He didn't see me, yeah, otherwise he'd have shot me out of the tree. He didn't see me, yeah. And so I come down. When I seen him, then I came down from the tree, and I told my mother about it. She said, didn't I tell you not to go up in them trees? Again? Yeah. <laughs> when the scene came out that year, you know, yeah. So uh, then we had to dig our own bomb shelters. The worst thing about the, the the war was that we had to take our mattresses off of our bed, and being that my mother had an upstairs part like, you know, because all the houses there are bought, uh, built at least six foot off the ground in them days. Today they build them further down. And uh, we had all cement steps, and we put the slant ways, you know, up against the cement, and we put all the children under there. Oh. And then you have to say, shh, shh, don't, don't talk, don't talk. You have to be very quiet. And that bombing, we, 
and, and I had people to tell me that I was telling them a story, but that bombing went on four years like that. You go to bed at night, and I was the, the, the instigator that I had to get up every night and make dang sure that everybody got out of the bed to get underneath the, 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 the mattresses, see, on the outside, yeah. Yeah, then that, that's where we went. Then I was coming down on uh, School Street one time, and uh, I seen this guy parachuting in. And I, I had a, a gas mask. That, that's when my gas mask was furnished to me and, and a gun. And I come out there and I said, Oh, Lord, do I have to kill him? And somebody shot him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that saved me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then uh, then I came back, and then I used to go every day up there to IAR Hospital to take care of the soldiers and sailors, whoever got hurt, yeah, yeah. We, I had to work in the hospital. As a volunteer, we didn't get paid. We just volunteered, yeah, Everybody yeah. Help out. That's when I met Koi. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's when he was trying to beat the government. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how did you meet him? Yeah.